All right, y'all, Patrick Walters here. I've been asked, what are my top three? South Carolina baits. And you know, I had to think about it for a minute. I had to think about all the different bodies of water on South Carolina and what baits that I know work consistently at every single one of them. We got Santee Cooper, my home lake. We got the Cooper River. We got Lake Watery. We got Lake Murray. We got Lake Monticello. We got Clarks Hill. We got Lake Hartwell. I mean, Lake Murray in Columbia. You know, we have a lot of big lakes and a lot of fishing. I mean, there's a lot of tournaments that go on, but some of the baits that I have caught fish on on every single body of water. There's one of them that I mean, it's probably pretty easy to guess if you know me, but number one, I'd have to say that this is it number one in any specific order. The baits that I always throw is a jig. Hands down a jig, whether I'm gonna swim the jig in heavy cover or whether I'm casting it on docks, skipping it on trees, dragging it on points, is a jig. This is just a Terminator Pro Series jig, zoom big salty on there. Um, this is something I throw at Lake Hartwell early in the year, something I throw at Lake Murray, skipping this around docks, pre-spawn fish, and then I'll swim it later in the year, I'll throw this on cypress trees. I throw that on 20 pound, suffix advanced fluorocarbon, Daiwa Tattoo Elite 7 1 heavy, skip and run, and I actually put that on the Tattoo Elite pitch and flip 8 to 1 gear ratio, turn and burn, get them to the boat, but just a jig. Cannot beat a jig and pig, I don't care where you go. Number two, the wacky worm. Gosh, it catches them on every lake, whether they're spawning, they're post-spawning, you're sinking this down to brush piles, you're throwing this on cypress trees again. When the fishing gets tough, if the fish are on the bank, I mean, look how much money on Lake Hartwell's been won on a wacky worm. That's a Zoom Fluke Stick, VMC Nico hook number one, 12 pound suffix advanced fluorocarbon. And if I'm fishing super shallow, I actually don't throw a long leader. This is 10 pound suffix 832 braid, it's 832. Um, I like the one neon line, that bright green color, just you can see it so much. I, 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 I love watching my line. This is the Tetula Elite seven foot all around spinning rod. It's a medium, medium heavy. Takahiro came up with this rod and kudos to him. I actually love this rod. I throw this rod for everything. My shaky head, my wacky worm, Nico, all that. And I actually, this is another, I think the most specific thing about this setup and all my spinning rods, this is the Tetula LT 4000. I love larger size reels. All my spinning reels are upsized. The smallest one I'm gonna throw is a 3000, but this is a 4000 size reel, more line capacity. That way you can get further cast, less line twist, and more line per turn reeling that fish in. So you can really winch on those fish and get them to the boat. But I think it balances the rod a lot better. Look at that, I mean, it just balances the rod. That's what it's made to do. Um, and that's why I love bigger spinning reels. Last but not least, a jerk bait. I don't care if you're in South Carolina, if you're in New Mexico, if you're in Alaska, or somewhere in Puerto Rico, this sucker right here is gonna catch them. Just a jerk bait. Um, I throw a bunch of different jerk baits. This is actually the Rapala X Rap. It's a great pre spawn early jerk bait. I throw it on typically 12 to 14 pound suffix advanced fluorocarbon. Um, Every now and then I'll go to like 17 or 20 if I'm fishing it real shallow or if I'm getting it over grass, but typically 12 to 14. This is the Tattoo Labass seven foot jerkbait rod. Um, I throw this on eight to one gear ratio. This is a smaller Steve's reel right now, but I throw it a lot on the Tattoo La SV TW, but I always throw it on past your gear ratio. That way, when you're twitching that, you can really keep that line bringing it in. But top three baits for South Carolina are gonna be a jerkbait, a jig, and a wacky worm.